Hey folks, how you doing? Hopefully you're all having a great day today. I recently shot a shop tour video and then immediately after that changed my shop around, uh, which is uh, kind of funny. I planned on changing the shop around. It's pretty much set in stone that I was going to. Uh, so the whole point of making that video was to kind of document that particular layout. So I've been in the shop for a year and six months or so prior to making that shop tour video. And up until then, I realized a couple things, a, a wasted space, and um, you know, a couple things could have been improved upon. Not, not much though, I was really happy with that layout, but I did not have that motivating factor, that motivating desire of why I should rearrange the shop. It just wasn't worth it, the, the gain that was there until I started exercising uh, quite a bit here recently and wanted to have some of this extra space here in the shop uh, consolidate all the the little itty bitty areas of extra space into one much larger area of extra space that I could utilize for basically anything. Uh, so that was the motivating factor that I finally had to actually rearrange the shop and I did that. I did it by myself in three days. Well, majority of it by myself in three days. On day three, a friend of mine came in and helped me with the dust collection system, moving it around because moving large stuff overhead uh, and that dust collector is, is not fun by yourself. So uh, anyway, to move stuff around, the very first thing was the CNC machine and to move it, I used my car jack, my hydraulic car jack to jack up the center of the CNC machine and rest it down, uh, elevated very slightly onto a furniture dolly. And if it was just elevated slightly in the middle, it's kind of acting like a teeter-totter on that middle section. So at that point, I lifted up the heavy side. All you gotta do is just barely take it off the ground at that point and then move it where it needs to go. And it was pretty easy to do by myself. I moved this thing with no problems without disassembling anything, albeit it was a, a straight shot 15 feet. So it wasn't a crazy move. Uh, but it was much less daunting than I initially thought. And then I had to re-level it, resurface the spoil board, that type of stuff. So the CNC machine was the first thing to move after that. I disassembled the miter saw station and moved it in place where it is currently at, which honestly is probably the best location here in the shop for it. And this is a very similar layout currently to where I had it in my two car garage when I built this miter saw station. And what stopped me from putting it here in the first place when I moved into the shop is in that back corner, there used to be a set of stairs that was just in the way. Uh, so I moved that over here. And then from there, the rest of the tools, the workstations like this assembly table, my workbench, that type of stuff could all be uh, moved into place. And then finally on day three, like I said, a friend of mine came over and we moved the dust collection system uh, without disassembling the, the cyclone. We left the cyclone still on its stand and just kind of wiggled it where it, need, where it currently is. And uh, yeah, the, this whole layout's been like this for about two months now, and I, I love it. It's, it's a little bit more cozy. Everything is a little bit closer, which is totally fine. Uh, but the thing that, ben that is the most beneficial is the open assembly area that I have on the other side of the shop that I'm using for whatever. I'm using it for assembling large stuff. I'm uh, push that stuff to the side and I'm using it to exercise. Um, so I really, really like this, this particular layout. I've made two projects with this layout. One was the uh, bathroom vanity and the second one is the match fit workhorse and like I said having that open area to start assembling stuff to yeah, I make videos so stage a couple you know visual shots and stuff like that uh, it's pretty handy to have that open area so um, I don't know where I'm going with this I basically just wanted to document yes that I did change the shop around a little bit and I'll give you some pictures of right after it was switched around uh, and then, and then I'll just give you a, a, a quick walkthrough right here um, with the camera. All right, so basically, this side of the shop is all open to whatever, all the way front to back, open to whatever. I just got some MDF, so staging some materials over here, and that's my exercise stuff in the back, which I'll talk about in just a little bit. The center of the shop is where the dust collection run is and everything to this side is woodworking. So if I'm using the jointer planer combo machine, I have a horizontal surface behind it that I can stage in and out material. And it's also a straight shot to the assembly table back there. So the whole center hub of the workflow wheel, which is that assembly table is still established. Um, CNC machine by the door and easy access to all this stuff. Bandsaw is right here. 
plenty of in feed out feed again straight shot to the table the uh, router table router table and uh, table saw this is still in the same orientation the floor sweep was on this side in the last orientation but floor sweep over here that's nice uh, I'm using the assembly table as the outfeed now I had to make a little gap block right there attached to the table saw uh, one thing that is tremendously exciting to me is the workbench is now really close to all the tools in there and also really close to all the tools in there so I don't have to go to opposite corners of the shop to get my mechanics tools which has been really nice and basically no matter where I'm at with this assembly table uh, I've got tools and stuff all the way around it so really good access a little bit more consolidated a little bit more cozy feel but I really really like it and of course that's the start of the home gym over there which I'll cover in another video one final thing to mention is I, I did switch my miter saw back to the rigid miter saw I got rid of that Milwaukee I ended up giving that saw to my dad uh, the reason being is the saw seemed to be repeatable it seemed to make quality cuts the dust collection on it was beyond horrible it was annoying and that was a deal breaker for me because as I'm using the saw even it with it sitting in this miter saw station with a big dust collection box and powerful suction I'm still being pelted in the face with dust as it travels around the saw smacks into the front of the wood and splashes right back into my face and that was just beyond annoying so I figured I'd mention that um, out with the new and in with the old that's basically it for this video. I just wanted to document the change and let, and just, just have a point of reference I could point people to when they say, hey, did you change your shop around? Well, yes, I did. Go check that video out. Uh, you guys take care. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next video.